हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एम बी वी मोहित शर्मा हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू ऑल ऑफ यू टूडे आई हैव कम अप विद अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ स्लीन सिक्स सिग्मा विच इज रन चार्ट रन चार्ट इज अ लाइन ग्राफ ऑफ डेटा प्लॉटेड ओवर टाइम इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज टाइम सीरीज प्लॉट विद दी हेल्प ऑफ रन चार्ट यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई स्पेशल कॉजेज इन द डेटा इफ यू डू नॉट रिमूव दी स्पेशल कॉजेज फ्रॉम डेटा देन वी आर बाउंड टू मेक मिस्टेक्स वाइल आइडेंटिफाइंग सोल्यूशन we are not able to understand the gravity of the problem if we do not remove special causes from the data data of special causes could inflate the problem or it could make our problem look very simple i will be able to explain all of this with the help of examples in the video so let's get started with the video in today's video we will cover what is run chart what is the importance of run chart and how to perform run chart in mini tab so before we understand what is run chart let us understand what is variation variation is the voice of the process learn to listen and understand it to improve any process it is useful to understand its variation there are two types of variations that exist common cause variation and special cause variation if all variation is due to common causes the result will be a predictable or stable system if some variation is from special causes the result is an unstable or unpredictable system let me give you an example to make you understand this better when we go from our home to office There are five red lights on the way and we can also predict the time that we need to spend on those red lights so hence it is called common cause variation so we can start accordingly so that we reach office on time suppose there is a rally on a specific day on the road and because of that you are getting late that is a special cause which has happened so that's the difference between a common cause and a special cause common cause you can predict special cause are special they are unpredictable they occur any time process characteristics identifying special cause variation you can identify special cause variation by using a run chart so what is a run chart a run chart is a line graph of data plotted over time it is also called as time series plot by collecting and charting data over time you can find trends or patterns in the process because they do not use control limits so run chart cannot tell you if a process is stable however they can show you how the process is running If you work with data which has special causes then the solutions identified will be inaccurate and results would not meet customer requirement let me give you an example if you are doing a project to improve productivity of the team and you have done baseline on data collected for the month of december and december is a lean month as there is less volume due to festival season in us on other months associates process 40 transactions on an average and in december volume is less and hence they are processing 30 transactions on an average so by looking at that data you have decided a goal that you want to improve the productivity from 30 transactions to 40 transactions in january normal volume will come and team will be able to process 40 transactions as they have the capacity there is no improvement required so project will be closed without suggesting any significant improvements As you have seen in the example we were receiving less volume due to special cause and hence should be careful while we pick up data for our projects tools which can help you identify special causes in your data is run chart let us see how a run chart looks like if you look at this graph this is a run chart i have plotted cycle time here as a green belt or a black belt you need to look at four p values so these are clustering mixtures trends and oscillations let us understand them one by one clusters it indicates sampling or measurement problem mixtures it indicates mixed data from two population example that you have a cycle time data for a team which has two subgroups one set of people are working in the process for more than 3 years and the other set of people are recently joined within 0 to 6 months so there is difference in the cycle time that they are taking to process the transactions and if you plot both the data sets together on the graph it will give you a problem of mixtures oscillation data varies up and down rapidly trends trending of data it could be a upward trend or a downward trend p value should be greater than 0.05 for clusters mixtures trends and oscillations to say that there are no special causes present in the system let us see how to create a run chart in mini tab i have already pasted cycle time data in column c1 we want to check whether there are any special causes present in this data before we go ahead and do data analysis we'll go to stat quality tools and run chart in single column select cycle time and in subgroup size enter 1 and click okay so this is the run chart for cycle time it has 
clusters, mixtures, trends and oscillations. The p-values are greater than 0 0.05 in all the four cases. It suggests that the data has no special causes in it and you can go ahead and do data analysis with this data. There is one more point which I want to tell you. The sum of these two would be 1 and sum of these two would be 1. What does that mean is you can only have clusters problem or mixtures problem or you can have trends problems or oscillations problem in your data set. What should you do if your data has special causes? So step number one is that you should try and increase the sample size. When you increase the sample size, it neutralizes the special cause variation which is present in the system. Or if you are not able to increase the sample size, try and remove the data which is because of a special cause in the data set. So friends, I hope this video would have helped you understand how to identify special causes from your data. Once you are able to identify the special causes and remove them, you would be able to do the correct data analysis. Do share your comments and let me know the topics you want me to make videos on. Thank you so much for watching. Friends, this is my first book which I have authored recently, 8 Steps to Problem Solving. So friends, this is a very handy book for all of you. I have covered almost all the topics uh, of Lean Six Sigma here in a simple and concise way with easy examples.